Hey, good morning. My name is Alejandro Duran, and I am your spiritual coach today. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit about being kind to one another. The gospel enabled us by grace through faith in Jesus to be reconciled with God. But our salvation is also meant to transform us from the inside out. It is the work of the Holy Spirit to take us through a journey of spiritual formation. In Galatians 5, 16, we read, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Doing life as a follower of Jesus means that we ought to seek to live a holy life. It is the very reason why He sent His Spirit to live in us so that we will testify to the world that we are Jesus' disciples. Nevertheless, it comes at the cost of dying to self so that we will satisfy our call to holiness. Growing in kindness means walking by the Spirit so that we will not pursue the passions of the flesh. It means to imitate Jesus and to love sinners like He did. But I get it. Easier said than done, right? And I don't disagree. However, I find it extremely helpful to always remember that it is the Spirit work to produce the fruit of kindness in and through us. A supernatural work that God can only accomplish. And yes, we have a part to play. Paul instructs the church in Ephesus with the following words. He says in Ephesians 4.32, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. I don't know if you agree, but... I think that we are living in a world that is increasingly becoming angry. And the reasons for the shifting mood have increased by the thousands in the last few years. Talk about political landscape. And do you remember COVID-19? Our world is becoming increasingly hostile to immigration issues, gender identity, public, private, or homeschool choices, pro-choice or pro-life, guns or no guns, and the list goes on and on. My point isn't to give the right answers to these questions, but my point is for us to consider how we grow in kindness, regardless of our world spinning out of control. May I also point out, are we forgiving those who are hostile towards us, just like Christ forgave us when we were hostile towards Him? Additionally, I think that as we walk by the Spirit, He will enable us to walk in unity. Paul urged believers, and that includes us, to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness and patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. When we make room to walk in unity, there is no room for anger and hate. Instead, we grow in kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, peace, and love for one another. 
Today, I would want to challenge us in two ways. Number one, how are you walking today? And are you walking in kindness or anger? And lastly, are you showing compassion and kindness to those who are seeking your forgiveness? This is how you just may win today.